Hello everyone and thank you for coming to another Rad Movement YouTube channel viewing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo. So today I'm gonna go over what I went over in my 90 minute masterclass uh that I did today. Um and how I feel about that and how awesome it was to do uh, and a lot of other things. So let's just get right into it. So the four major fucking elements, the four foundational elements of uh, tattooing for me is your tattooing foundation. Um, this includes <clears throat> line work, uh, saturation, color blending, uh, soft shading, you know, <clears throat> whip shading, like all the different techniques that your hand can do, right? Uh, and a bunch of other things, composition, artistic prowess, things like that. So that's your foundational stuff. Um, <clears throat> then you're going to go into adaptability and creativity, and then intuition is the fourth one. Um, and that one's always floating between, uh, all, all the prior three, right? So you use your foundational elements, then you use your art, your adaptability and your creativity. So your adaptability is just your like ability to overcome the tough stuff, uh, tough clients, tough skin, um, scary times when you like get into your imposter syndrome real bad, uh, <clears throat> how to get past that and things like that. So it's really cool to, uh, you know, be able to dive deeper into yourself with this adaptability, this creativity, uh, and pull that out and put this into the pieces of art you're making for your clients uh, and the experiences that you can have with them. So today I did my 90 minute masterclass. It was fucking awesome. It was all centered around tattoo education, but there were moments where I found myself fighting back tears because tattooing means so much to me. And like the therapeutic moments I've had and the moments where I'm like relating, fucking connecting with my inner child to doing tattoos. Like, uh, this one story I've told a bunch of times I may have told here before, um, I was doing a mandala, a color mandala, and, uh, I decided I wanted to do it my way, the way that I color things. So I added a color and dimension and like glows and all kinds of cool shit. <clears throat> but as I was working on the tattoo, the, the colors were eluding me. And it was like, I was seeing them as like children, um, like. And I, my inner child was like trying to play with these different colors, right? And as every different color came out and wanted to play, we had to wait for that one to come out and the other ones were still hiding. So it was like hide and seek to a degree, but then you play with the one you hide that, that you just caught. And then when you're done playing, then you move on to catch the next one. And it's almost like me and that color were playing together, almost looking for the next color together, but enjoying ourselves playing. And like this story of like viewing these colors as like children that I'm like enjoying playing, you know, like enjoying like having this childlike experience with, you know, and my inner child is having this childlike experience. Like when I was telling the story earlier, like I got choked up and shit. And then a couple other things I said, I got pretty choked up. So it was really cool to see how much tattooing really does mean to me. Cause I didn't even know, um, even though I know Make sense? Yeah. Uh, so it's cool to see how much tattooing really means to me because I really didn't know. And it's fun to find out. Um, it's fun to share that with others. And it's fun to already be getting feedback from people uh, telling me, you know, like, hey, thanks so much for like letting me know that like I don't have to just be one artist because like I talked a bit about, you know, uh, adaptability, right? And that's like the versatility between styles for me. Um, you know, uh, well, a lot of adaptability is a lot of things, but part of it is like when somebody brings in your idea, I used to like relish in the fact that I would shoot them down and be like, I don't like that, do this. And now I'm like, hey, you know what? That's cool, but do you mind if I do it the way I do things? And that fucking reframe has gotten me so many more people that are willing to fucking like let me have my way with their idea and like create this fun fucking art, you know? So it's really cool when you get to create that art um, and you do it with intention, uh, but have fun doing it. And like, you're playing, you're literally coloring. Like we color on people and we're tattooing on dying flesh. They're paying for an experience. 
They're paying for the fun. They're playing for, they're paying for the play. You know, like it's childlike to go through this, you know, Disney like experience. Tattoo day is like Disney for a lot of people, you know, and it's exciting and it's bold and brilliant. And like for us to help embody what that feels like for our clients is brilliant. And like to focus on giving them intentional love and support and an experience. Give them the experience that not a lot of shops are aware of or willing to do. Um, it's not common practice to focus on giving your client experience something amazing so they'll always remember you by. And for me, the way that I get my, give my clients the best experience is I'm just authentically me. So like, I be saying stupid shit and I fucking speak in the patterns that I speak in. But like, I also give people this like loving, uh, safe sense that they know they're gonna get this dope shit because like people have told me I'm a good salesman. I'm not really a good salesman, I just be honest. And that honesty and that authenticity and me being so stoked about their idea gets me the clients, but it also gets me feeling good about myself and my experience and what I'm doing for and with these people. Um, you know, and the creativity side, right? Like make the art that your heart needs to create. So now you've said, okay, cool. Uh, I got my foundations solid and I'm gonna adapt with this client and really develop something awesome that they're gonna love that we're both gonna be super stoked about that also is in my style and fits them and they've said yes to my style and they might not have even realized it, right? Like that's pretty cool when that fucking happens. And then like, I love telling people, I'm like, hey, thanks for doing my thing. And they're like, hey, thanks man. You know, and like, um, me giving in to their idea helps them give in to my idea to a degree. Uh, you know, and me being excited for them and co-creating with them. People want to be co-created with. They want to feel good about like this creation process. And I've had a couple of artists recently do that with me. And I, I like that experience. So now I'm starting to really uh, incorporate that more in my client experience. And it just fucking has opened up so much more and I get to do so much cool things. Um, and that's like creativity and adaptability all like in one. So be creative, allow yourself to be the artist you want to make. Um, I referenced this dude, uh, in the seminar, fucking, um, William D. Uh, he calls his work wheelism and it's like realism with his spin on it. And it's really fucking cool. And it's super impressive work and it's dope. And like, when you look at it, it's just simply him being an artist. And it's awesome. I also referenced Joshua Carlton. He does similar things. Like he does, he like, he'll focus on this hyper-focused area and then just like make art for the rest of the thing. And like, and allow it to be free and loose. And it's so fun. Uh, just being so free and loose, uh, and enjoying the process of making art instead of making it a job because I made tattooing a job for a while because I thought that I was doing a good job. But now I realize, holy shit, it's not a job, man. This is just my passion that I got to turn into a career, that I got to do really fun things with awesome people every day of my life. And it's taken me a while to come back to feeling this way because like it's cyclical. You go in and out of this feeling. Um, it's like if you've ever fallen out of love and back into love with someone again. Sometimes these loving relationships take work and tattooing is definitely a loving relationship. It's difficult. But now if you're not a tattooer and you're watching this, just apply any of this shit to your real life, to your fucking craft uh, and to your relationship stuff. Because like if we're talking about relationships, foundation, right? Your foundation is communication. Trying to figure out healthy, effective, nonviolent communication with people is one of your foundations. Um, speaking others love languages and identifying your own love language boundary setting uh you know all these things those are your foundational stuff then adaptability and creativity is how you choose to use your foundations and the creative ways you can use these situations that you come up with with relationships so instead of getting mad at your partner for something going wrong say holy shit let's look at this as a way that we could both learn and a new opportunity to grow and expand and maybe this you know a uh, misstep happened as a way to fucking redirect us to explode something new over here um which the other side of that is fuck why'd you fuck that up or i should have done this myself or you know things like that so um i've done a lot of the latter more than the former right <laughs> uh so i'm learning all this as i go still but the cool thing about sharing this information with other people 
makes it to where I'm learning this information because I'm hearing it come out of my mouth. I'm seeing it on video. But then I'm getting feedback from humans and I know that we're all doing something right. So thanks everyone for being here. Um, that was just me kind of like happy, awesome, still riding the awesomeness from today's masterclass uh, brain dump. Um, and uh, I'm just really excited to be sharing this with people, sharing tattoo education from a perspective uh, that is different than most. Um, and my only, only my unique experience is my unique experience can provide. Um, so thanks for listening. Uh, and if you're interested, I hope this didn't come off as an infomercial at all. It, it's not. I'm super stoked about doing this, but I'm super excited about sharing uh, more tattoo education with people. So if you are interested, um, please go and message me on uh, my social medias at Robbie Rapole on Facebook and uh, Instagram. And um, we can move forward in figuring some things out on a... Uh, uh, rolling you into the new tattoo education stuff that I'm putting out. Uh, also the human coaching, life coaching stuff. Cause I'm going to be rolling out more stuff like that. Um, so, uh, if you want to go for, uh, go with people, if you want to go uh, fast, go alone. Right? So these are things I've heard a number of times and I've developed a team now. Um, and he's got team members and, uh, Joshua centers has been working with me, um, on Facebook and Instagram and behind the scenes. Uh, and we're creating a lot of cool content um, for tattoo studio owners, tattoo artists. And I'm and he's gonna help me uh, market and direct a lot of my human and life coaching uh, stuff out there. So you're gonna see a lot more of this stuff. It's gonna be a lot more fun. It's gonna be a lot more awesome. I'm super excited and super stoked to be doing more of this. Uh, so uh, thanks for watching this long. Thanks for being a part of it. Thanks for supporting the rad movement. Thanks for supporting me. Um, but mostly, thanks for supporting yourself. Love yourself. Have grace and compassion with yourself. Always, always, always take care of yourself. Because without you, this vessel, this ship, no one else can ride. So take care of yourself. I love you. I appreciate you. I hope you have an amazing day, evening, afternoon, wherever the fuck you are. I'm Rad and so are you. Hope to see you soon. Love you much.